Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Burns Cradle. Good morning. Cheers. Today I'm drinking my, as always, Cafe Mocha in my, my favorite mug that's in my merch store, merch store. If you're interested in owning a beautiful cup like this, you can get yours down below. Um, I also have different colors. Today I have Merdina Amethyst with me. She is my, um, not the Evie sculpt, <laughs> the Azalea sculpt by Lorley Eagles. She is a custom reborn by Wendy of Weep Dolls and she smells so delicious. I had her in a basket with this scent and it's a scentsy uh, scent circle they call it and it's in newborn nursery. So it smells exactly like baby powder and it's not like the Wonder Wafers. It's the Wonder Wafers smell like baby powder, but it's, it has this really super strong something behind it. And I'm not sure what it is, but this one is pure, pure 100% baby powder only. And it's not entirely strong, but yet still smells delicious. So this was laying on her stomach in her basket and she smells so good and she is in this beautiful outfit that came with her box opening which I love it also has a hat but uh I just I love looking at her hair anyways happy Saturday it is Saturday today and I'm here to do Julie's tag. Hi, Julie. I love your tags. Um, I used to do a lot of tags back in the day, but I haven't done so in a long time. Oh, look, I'm patting her butt. <laughs> That's just a habit of mine. What's your habit when you hold a baby? Mine is patting the butt. <laughs> Julie has 10 questions, 10 things about me. And I wrote them down on this index card as she went along. Um, however, she I will link her video. And she, does, she did write out the questions at the end. But me, I just quickly... Yes, chicken scratch. I just wrote mine out very quickly. So... But there are 10 questions. And here's a little psychology thing. I, now that I'm re-looking re at my questions, um, if you ever notice somebody's writing going upwards, they're in a good mood. And if you notice if they're going down, slanted down, they're not in a good mood. So it looks like I was in a pretty good mood when I wrote out these questions. <laughs> They are slanted pretty, pretty high. Anyways, 10 things about me with Merdina. Merdina. Actually, I'm going to put her up here so I won't. Let's see if she could rest. And I am totally wearing my long sleeve sweater. It's very cold outside. Oh, yeah, this feels better. Oh, she feels real. <laughs> Anyways, um, just totally see see how calming this hobby is. <sighs> I don't want to put my face on her though, cause I am wearing like powder. So, mm, um, what was I saying? <laughs> 
Oh, about the weather. And it, it has cooled down quite a lot. The heater is on. The heat is finally on. Um, if you hear that blowing in the background, we have a, a propane furnace heat. And um, it was zero degrees Celsius this morning. Celsius. I think that's like 35 Fahrenheit. 36, 35 Fahrenheit. Yeah. It warmed up a little bit, but not too much. Anyways, I am going to get on these questions, 10 questions. Um, wait, I'm thirsty. I just want to drink first. Okay. Number one, my two favorite sports thing is she didn't really say like to play to participate in or to watch <laughs> um when I was a teenager I won a few trophies in curling and um curling is if I'm pretty sure you know ice curling yeah with the yeah but that was a long time ago I can't believe how I can't even walk on ice anymore. I shuffle like an old lady now. <laughs> but when I was younger, I used to run and play curling and sweep sweep that rock down the aisle. And what happened to me? <laughs> but yes, I used to play curling. And I love to participate in badminton. I'm still uh, pretty good at badminton. Um... I love it. I love um, shooting basketball hoops, although I'm not good at basketball itself. But I do love just shooting the hoops. Um, like a barricade. <laughs> um, I do. I always loved underwater swimming and I used to want to be a mermaid. <laughs> I used to do like um, makeup dances, you know those swimming aerobic dances. I used to love just making that stuff up when I was a kid. I grew up at a lake, so I was always swimming. Um, but underwater swimming, I could hold my breath for a really long time, and I used to love it. So I love swimming. I'm not really good at the like at professional swimming. I used to like we had swimming lessons at school. And there's this one level where you have to do like the breaststroke, like the breathing. I could never coordinate my breathing and my blowing out underwater. I just held my breath the whole time. And then the instructor said, don't hold your breath the whole time. So I tried doing the blowing thing and I couldn't really get it. So I used to fail and fail. <laughs> So, but I am good at swimming underwater. I used to love swimming underwater. I'm very fast and I love even pretending to be a mermaid. I used to, and I could hold my breath for a really long time. So, um, as for watching on TV, none. <laughs> well, I'll tolerate football that's on TV and maybe hockey, but that's about it. <laughs> Number two, what are my favorite movie food? At the movie theater, you have options, either a big tub of popcorn or the candies, like either Jupe Jumes, Gummy Bears, or the chocolates, like Glossette Raisins. Um, me, I love them all. <laughs> I love them all. And um, I will always get, because the best option for your money is to get a uh, like a bulk thing of popcorn with candy so while i used to always pick like the popcorn with um it was always a hard choice between like the sweet sugar candy or the gloss at raisins or peanuts i love all of them so <laughs> we don't go to the movie theater often we don't have well we have a movie theater up here but i really don't like going there so the only time we used to go to the movies was once a year when we go to the city. But up here we have home movies. <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling. My favorite movie food, I, I do love the popcorn a lot. Um, however, I do love everything else. The sour candy, the sweet candy, the chocolate. Yeah, I love it all. <laughs>
<laughs> Number three. Do you have, like, do you prefer silk house plants or real plants? <laughs> In my home, there are silk fake plants everywhere. Like, yeah, it's all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> Even though I do love the country. However, there are two real plants that were Jeremy's over there, and they're actually doing pretty good. So it's making me rethink. Maybe I can have some real plants. I don't know. I used to. I used to back in the day have real plants until I had sons and then they were always into them. So that's when I started getting fake plants and they're just so much easier. But for the most part, part smoke house plants. Number four, what's your favorite style of decor? Um, my decor around here is I don't know. You know what? The couch, the couch is a set. Um, the end tables are a set. Everything else is like just a mix match of whatever I could get, whatever I could. Like my TV entertainment thing over there. I'll show you. I don't know. I just do what fits and works. Like that. This entertainment thing is actually a top to a huge entertainment system um where my dv let's see where my dvds are that's where a tv is supposed to go like back in the day like the 32 inch tvs would fit perfectly in there and then that was that is really like really high and there's a bottom piece to this where you put the dvds and everything else so this is actually just a top to a really huge entertainment center and i just use it like this now i fill up there's a hole like if i remove all those dvds you'll see a big hole in the back for the tv so yeah it's just and then this is just um my coffee table with an ottoman underneath and a couple of baskets of babies and then just a bookshelf with um actually it's sideways but i just put those uh things on there i don't know and then my japanese kind of lantern i had since the 90s i don't know it's just it's just <laughs> you're okay i'm just a redneck girl i don't know it's just a mix and match of everything however if i would really love uh a look I like the modern look blacks grays um, everything around here I really do like the dark browns like in my like uh, like seeing that leather I like the dark brown it's just that's fake plant up there <laughs> but yeah I just I just do what works do what fits I don't have, I wish I had like a real together look, maybe in my next house that I own, hopefully one day. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have a look, but my favorite kind of look, I don't know. And then I love the old English Victorian style. Oh, so beautiful. So, I don't know. I just do whatever works. Um, but if I really love a style, the most of my life, I love the modern look, like, um, just sleek. I, I can't describe it. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> my look right now is, uh, mix and match, do what works, do what fits, and that's what I do. Um, number five, are you a mim minimalist or... I like how she put this, Julie. You said, put it away for a rainy day, kind of girl. <laughs> I call it hoarding. I am a hoarder. I am a definite hoarder. Big time. <laughs> um, my living room is, my upper living area is, is not really cluttered, but I do have a lot of stuff. However, you never saw my basement. And... <laughs> It's definitely a hoarder because I remember, I remember, um, 
like I do I did donate a lot of stuff too it's just easier than hassling with the grass so I always say I'm gonna have a grass so I'm gonna have a grass so I never do so I just donate um but there was a few things that I donated and then like a few years later I really I could have used it for instance it was a clock radio I owned <laughs> like three or four clock radios it was crazy I know it's because like I lived on my own at first I had my own things I upgraded clock radios um the old ones still worked I kept them and then I moved in with um my ex-husband back in the day and then my fiance now and we always had combined like same things like clock radios and I thought okay this is back when my sons were really young and I never thought about their bedrooms but I donated a couple of clock radios and then they grew older and it's like hey you need a clock radio and I had to buy one and they're expensive nowadays, so why did I throw away or donate a $15 clock radio and then later have to buy the same thing for like 30 bucks? I, I, I hate doing that. So, I am a hoarder. Yes. And I always say, well, I'll give this away to one of my sons when, when they're older. Like for instance, when um, Jeremy moved down to, I already had like a complete kitchen set for him, like plates and everything, because I like to upgrade every once in a while and just for the change. And uh, yeah, so I am a hoarder. I am a put it away for rainy day kind of girl. <laughs> plus we do have a lot of camping gear as well so i like to keep everything yes and i have donated things a lot of things especially clothes mostly clothes um number six i'm rambling <laughs> number six what must you have in your pantry at all times is there one item <laughs> no i have several items i need on hand at all times in my pantry, it's um, soy sauce, rice, potatoes, fresh potatoes, canned potatoes, canned corn, um, tomato sauce, um, yeast, bread yeast. Um, I always need to have salt, sugar, flour, uh, pasta, um, tomato paste, crushed tomatoes. Um, uh, various soups, um, yeah, I always, I always have them on hand. Oh, and crackers, like soda biscuit crackers. If I run out, I don't like running out of anything. Um, even in my fridge, I always make sure I have milk and eggs and butter or margarine. I used to have butter, but now that my family has grown, it's just cheaper to buy margarine. So I have been buying margarine um, and cheese slices <laughs> and pickles <laughs> I need those. <laughs> and cheese, <laughs> all these things. Yeah, I don't know. I do. I like to keep stocked items. Um, same with my medicine cabinet. I make sure I always have things on hand. Tylenol, Advil, Aleve, all of them, Pepto-Bismol, Tums. I always have them on hand, always. Uh, Kleenex and toilet paper, especially, and paper towel, always on hand. Um, dish soap, always on hand, laundry soap. Anyways, basically everything. <laughs> so it's not one item for me. Um, what is your favorite era for music and fashion? Ooh, that's a tough one. People who really know me know that I listen to music from all eras, uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, I listen to. The only thing I don't like is the new country. I love the old country, but I don't really listen to the new country. But my favorite is like dance and techno. Um, I even... 
I listen to heavy metal, rock, classical, opera, um, Broadway musicals, like uh, musical stories, drama stories. I listen that's opera. Um, I listen to like, yeah, I listen to it all. Hip hop, rap. Um, it depends on what mood I'm in. I even listen to nature sounds. Um, <laughs> ASMR. I like it all. I do. I listen to it all. In fact, my my um MP3 player has every single you you mention a type of song, hip hop, classic, heavy metal, thrash, uh, opera, everything musicals i have it i have it on there and i do listen to all of it 30s 40s 50s uh latino music um music in different languages i yeah music from around the world i listen to bollywood uh turkish music um yeah uh but my favorite i don't know it depends probably my favorite i have two favorites <laughs> My number one favorite is the techno, uh, the new age techno. They call it electronica, uh, dance music. Have you heard of, um, what are they called? They're, they have in two different names, either techno punk <laughs> or what's the other name that they call them? Uh, not the gothic punk, although I like the dark music too. <laughs> I like, I even listen to like thrash and like, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have no idea what kind of tastes. Well, now you do. I listen to all of it. Um, but my favorite is probably like the dance and electronica. Like, you probably never heard of Cell Dweller, but if you, if you know who that is, Infected Mushroom, um, Prodigy is an old, is an old, that's my favorite. Prodigy stuff, prodigy type stuff, infected mushroom type stuff. And my newest favorite is Cell Dweller. Um, he's really cool. And, um, yeah. Anyways, um, and I love 70s music as well. Like, uh, Donovan is my number one favorite. Um, but yeah. Anyways, and as for fashion, I don't know what... I don't know what this is called. Just whatever fits. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really a fashion girl. I'm just. <laughs> uh, number eight. What's my favorite kind of cake? My favorite cake in the whole wide world is a Dairy Queen ice cream cake. Mm mm mm. That's my favorite. Anything else, I'll eat it. But it's like even chocolate cake, devil's food cake, with lots of chocolate icing is really really good but my favorite is an ice cream dairy queen cake number nine if you could speak another language what would it be i know a little bit of french but i would love actually arabic i would love to know um the inuit language i would love to know uh, latino or spanish i would love to know um the east indian language did i say that i would love to know i wish i was i wish i could i can watch movies in french but um i can listen to it and read it or no i could read it and write it better than i could speak it or hear it but there are some french movies i own and that i do enjoy watching number 10 if money was no issue, who would you get a custom baby from? You know what? I wish I could own one of Renee Mack's silicone babies. She is a an artist in Manitoba, in Winnipeg, actually. And she makes beautiful silicone, realistic babies. And in fact, um... She was asked to make a baby for a film production. So I think that's pretty cool. Renee Mack. Studios of Renee Mack. I would love to own one of her babies. <laughs> but seriously, if money was no issue, I would love to just have like a whole room for the dolls. Like an 
an actual type of nursery. I would love that. Anyways, I have to go. I'm getting messages on my phone left and right. Actually, no, just one <laughs> from my brother. But here's Mardina looking so sweet. Oh, mm, she smells so good. Look at her. <laughs> Not me. Oh, look how sweet she is. I love that she's a scratch. Look at her. Oh, guess what? I am getting a custom soon. My custom baby is in the works. And I also impulse purchased a baby doll too. So I'm getting two dolls. And another surprise, my inner child is I'm getting an interactive baby toy doll from Walmart and it's by Baby Born, I think, a Baby Born doll. I can't wait for that. So anyways, how cute she is. She is so cute. Anyways guys, I hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here and until next time. Bye guys. Love you. Match your hand. Match it guys. Come on, give me a high five. Come on, match it. Bye guys.